Alrighty, hello there, my uber geeky nerdy friends. This is Matt Petrowski, and bringing you these videos, I'm over at QWERTY.com doing all my really super uber geeky, geeky stuff. This particular video is so cool because every time I saw this stuff, it just blew me away. This is uber cool HTML filtering. We're using Vim to get the good stuff that you want. So here's how it goes. You're going to filter from a web page into Vim and then extract everything that you want. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna to try to do this as quickly as I can because there's a lot of little things that are gonna be going on in this video. Quite quickly, I'm gonna copy this URL. Actually, let's take the look at the loser way to do this. Well, I shouldn't say loser, but we're gonna do a command A, command C, and we're gonna go over to Vim and then we're gonna paste. Okay, wonderful, that's how I would do it if I wasn't using Vim, but because I am using Vim, let's see if we can do it without actually touching the mouse. Uh, no, I don't want that. Let's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, what I did before. Oh, there we go. Uh, here, we're in the URL. Command L, copy, go over here. Here's what we're taking a look at. We want to read the source into Vim. So here's what we do. We enter our command EX mode. We are going to R for read. We are going to exclamation, which is the bang, which means the following after this, we're running any type of command. Curl is a very popular application. To grab things, that dash S means I want you to do it silently. That's going to read directly into a buffer that HTML using curl. Awesome, we're able to grab our HTML. Let's go to the top. I know I've got some extra lines here. I'll delete those. I wanna see this in a nice pretty. So uh, look, I'm going to actually uh, set my file type equal to HTML. There we go, we get our nice Syntax color highlighting for us. Um, what we're looking for is let's look for .mp3. Yep, we've got .mp3s in here. In fact, I'm gonna use my mouse. I know this is lame, but I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go over here and just make sure that this works, does what I want it to do. Look at that, it loads the mp3 file. All right, so I want to get this. Okay, the problem is what we're looking at, if we look at the content here, is look at that, that line is split up. So this is not in a very good condition. So you need to have a command line tool installed on your machine, and that is going to be the command line tidy. If you don't know how to install command line tools using brew, which is the coolest on Mac or some other ancient technology, I forget what the other one is that I used to use, but brew is how you're gonna get on a Mac on Windows, I don't know, but you need the tidy tool. So the first thing we learned is we learned to read it into our buffer straight from the web. Now we're going to pass the contents of the buffer, which is done with the percent sign. It represents the whole contents of this file or the file. In this case, you can see up at the very top that this is a no name file. We have no name, so it's just an empty buffer and nothing has been saved yet. So I'm gonna use that percent sign and what I wanna do is I want to pass that, again with the bang, to the tidy tool. Now tidy is going to have a couple of options. One of them is dash I, another one is dash W, which stands for width. I'm gonna give it some astronomically large number like 10 or 100,000. It's going to tidy it for me. It's telling me that 1,700 lines, we got a shell returned one, great. There's all of our warnings that Tidy decided to give us about the HTML not actually being valid, but who cares? We're here for the .mp3 files. Now, if we go look at that .mp3 again, what we're going to see here, in fact, if I uh, look for the quote and just follow through these, look at what happens. We get this ex enormously long. Now, when you give Tidy you know, a ton of lines in order to actually grab, what's gonna happen is it's gonna wrap for, it. I mean, it's gonna use a column length of uh, 10,000 or 100,000 what I used. And all of these A's are just consecutive. So we, w we need to get this into a right format. So after you tidy something, you have to know that you may need to get it into a even further format for you to filter it down. But most importantly, since we know that we've got our MP3 here, um, actually, yep we're on the mp3 so we want to grab all of these lines we know that all of the anchor lines now are on their own line it just happens that in this website they have multiple anchor tags for all the different file formats so we need to grab all of these now if you've worked with regular expressions uh, in particular grep or egrep on the command line 
there are there is a flag that is dash V. Now here's how I think about things. When you're a programmer and you're programmer and you're creating a command line, something like grep, if you've already used dash I and you've already used dash in to represent something else, if you want to represent the inverse of something, well, I is taken, in is taken, so you use dash V. So in me, mentally, V means I want to grab the opposite of something, and that means that I'm going to use that here within Vim. Now, Vim, if you want to do something line-wise across all lines, they have this cool little man, uh, command called G, and then what happens is it takes a pattern... I'm typing in what actually, how it looks in the uh, help docs here. Uh, you would run a command, and that command could be whatever you want it to be. Now, normally you're going to run a normal command because Vim is a uh, mode-based editor, but we're not going to get into that. The opposite of G would be the inverse, uh, which would be G bang, but it's V, which will actually take our pattern now. What is our pattern? This is so simple, dot MP3. Can you get more simple than that? And what, are, what kind of command are we going to run? Well, let's run the delete command. So how do we understand this? We've got V, meaning anything that is not the pattern that I specify. So if you, on your line, do not have a .mp3, what's going to happen to you? You're going to get deleted. Oh my goodness, there it is. It is all uh, deleted. Head up to the top of the file, let's shift V, shift G, grab the whole thing. I don't know how many indents there are, but I'm just going to say 13. It's a nice lucky number. Uh, you could use 10 or anything else if you wanted to. But what I did is I just put all of these lines together. Now we need to clean this up even further. So we're going to need to do a substitution on this buffer again. Percent sign means the whole buffer. S means substitute. Slash means we're going to start our pattern. What is it that we're looking for? Well, let's go ahead and look for A. And what do we want to replace that with? We want to replace all A slashes with a... Um, what I'm thinking off the top of my head here. Uh, let's put it control V for whatever comes after that key next. Literal, because you can't insert a carriage return. Let's give it a carriage return and then put an A and let's do that globally. Okay, we've got all of them on their individual lines. I'm sure there is a better way that I could have done this. Uh, somebody's gonna put a comment on this video and say, oh my gosh, dude, why didn't you just uh, use tidy and have it tidy on all of the anchors? Okay, I didn't know that command at this point in time. So here's the cool thing. I can actually filter this out and look at this. I can go back and I can substitute again for my MP3s. Oh, that wasn't that bad now, was it? So every line that I have right now is all of my, or it should be my MP3s. I see that I've got some augs in here. Get out of here, you guys. I don't know why they're there. Again, there's probably an easier way to do this, but if we take a look at this, I've got just my pure lines finally. So tidy cleaned them up, got them all on the same line for me. Then I had to you know, put them out and get whatever I want. Anyway, shut up, Matt. Let's just go. <laughs> so we're going to percent. I'm going to substitute. Here I want to substitute with the starting of the line. Caret means start of the line. Any number of characters up until, let's go for the href equals quote. And let's say, what do we want to replace this with? Well, let's go into our URL, copy that here, and paste that in. I'm going to have to use some arrow keys Lucky yucky, I don't know, in EX mode. Somebody will tell me on the comments. I know they will. Hey, dude, you can move within the EX mode one character at a time or jumping. I don't know how to do that. Anyway, you get the point of what I've got going on here. Let's go ahead and bring back the command. Let's get rid of that. Let's get let's percent. I don't know why I just didn't start over. But let's start with our uh, quote there. Oh, my gosh total brain lapse right there, and uh, let's replace it with nothing. So again, if you didn't see the last command, I wonder if this will actually happen. Last command right there, uh, that's tidy. Uh, there's our command right there. So let's understand this. Percent is whole file, s is substitution, slash is start the pattern, caret is start of the line, any number of characters with the dot, well, the star means zero, any number of characters. We're, we're getting a regex lesson here too. Um, but I'm doing the same thing that I did in that previous command, but I'm ending up with what I wanted. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Dude, I love it. 
Okay, now I took a little while to show this, but once you learn those commands, guess what? You can do it pretty fast. And if you save those commands into your VimRC, guess what? You can parse any page you want pretty quickly for whatever you want. Read it in, rip it up, parse it out, do it with Vim. Alrighty, see you later. <laughs> you thought all of that learning was for nothing. No, that was just so that you could learn. Okay, you can do it with one command. I thought about it. I forgot. I forgot. You forget this stuff. Uh, yeah, if I wanted all of those MP3 URLs, I can do it with one command. I'll just pass it to egrep. Here's the command for you. Percent whole file or buffer. Bang for the actual follow-up command line tool. egrep because we're going to use extended regular expressions. Dash O for only, meaning I only want you to return what I specify for you to grab. I'm going to use single quotes because within that I'm going to have double quotes. Slash data. I know that every line starts with that after the quote. Dot and then star for any of zero or more characters up to a an escaped dot mp3 and single quote and bang, done. There you go. Need to replace that uh, subst that caret or the, the front character. Uh, you can do your control V and then you can do a swap out and swap that out. Anyway, it's Vim. Vim accesses the command line. You can do it faster. Ha ha ha!